This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, cheers, Grace Helvig. Cheers, memory heart. Wow, that's a great shirt. <laughs> that is a really great shirt. You got there too, babe. Uh, for y'all who are listening and not watching, Grace and I are wearing the same exact This Might Get Weird merch. Yep. I knew there was a chance, but I hadn't mm-hmm. worn it in a minute. Right. You truly wear yours every day. I wear, um, you know, four sweatshirts mm. in rotation. Um, and this I literally picked up and I said, she won't be wearing this today. I haven't worn this in a week. The, so The thing is, is I have a closet. I could have changed. Right. But why? Why? Why not give first time viewers the strangest uh, <laughs> initial impression to what this And we have is. uniforms. I know. That we we're look minions. Like, we are minions. And uh, we also look like we're doing some like female version of the Step Brothers movie right now. You know what? That movie huh. is great. It is really great. It fucking <laughs> cracks me up. Like uh, if the if Step Brothers is on TV, yeah. I, I continue to watch. Yeah. It's one of those where I'm like, I've seen this 20 times and I'm not normally Jokes a person great. who likes to watch movies over and over. Uh-uh. I stay there. They're Mary Steenburgen. She is so good. A damn. I mean, America's sweetheart. What truly, fight, fight me. I'll marry her. True. Mary Steenburgen. Well, she's with Ted Danson. A I silver know. Fox. I know. I saw we were watching. Um. Curb Your Enthusiasm the other day, and they're in it as themselves. Ugh. I mean, so uh, she's all over the place. I think that show's coming back, too. I think so, too. Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, uh, who sorry, knows? Sorry, this, who has knows? Been, this has been your riveting Every television time I look update. Every the uh, screen, yeah, I feel like we look very vulnerable we, for some reason. We look like non-identical twins. Whose parents are like, we wish they were identical, so we're still going to dress them in the same shit. I mean, look, one year later in the pandemic, guys, who knew that this is where we'd be at? This is where we'd end up. How's <sighs> how's your week been? My Not week to been... make a, our other podcast, How You Been, How You Been, limited series. Um, no, my week's been good. It's been very chill. Have you had a lot of schooling? Uh, I've had some schooling, yes. I was The last two days have been chill because I've just been reading all day. So <laughs> I know. Isn't that gross? <laughs> what a dork. I'm literally homeschooled now. So I love that. That's probably why I'm dressing like this. Can we have a prom? <gasps> oh, I mean, everyone I mean, in the program in is an adult. Oh. Um, <laughs> that, that doesn't stop anything. No. But uh, potentially, potentially. I love that be. even though it's never going to happen, you still didn't even just give me a courtesy yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because so I feel I'll throw like it. you'd figure out some way to actually do it. Because uh, Chip and I would show up with boot and ears and wrist corsages. Great. It would be very silly. How was your weekend? You were with I Chip. I went to Vegas, of. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Why I just awesome power? <laughs> I know you scared the shit out of Baby. me while you were in Vegas. Oh, okay. Not yeah. scared, but you like you know. I, I was caught off We played off a trick. Guard. We played a trick. I yeah. had a lovely trip up to Vegas to see Chip, and since I have that crack in my windshield, right? Ugh, a big ugh. First of all, yeah, windshields are a racket. That's what we found out through your problem with your windshield. Ugh, if they're connected to a backup camera, you're fucked. But they're literally like glasses for the car. If you break them, you yeah, can't do anything. But like glasses, you're probably accidentally breaking them yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? When you yeah. fuck up your glasses. This- well, this is like if the glasses were connected to the your heart. <laughs> well, it's just kind of like, I can't help it. A rock hit it. Yeah. There needs to be stricter laws about how you need to cover up your truck if you got shit in it. That's what I'm saying. How how you need to cover up your truck if you've got shit in it? Like what do you that mean? guy, there was a guy who had shit flying oh, out of his oh, truck, oh, oh, oh. cracked my windshield. I wonder how many windshields that guy cracked that day. Right. You know? But how do you possibly prove that it came from his truck? Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. I will fully a beautiful minded. Yeah. I will have a no. tiny model. This car. sounds like you got to take this case to Judge Judy. That's and what let I'm screaming. Her figure it out. That's what I'm screaming. No, so I went to Vegas, but I flew. Yeah. Since I I felt weird driving with a crack in the windshield, just in case, like you don't want to be stranded on like no. a alien beef jerky exit, which is a real one. Yep. 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 Um. So I flew, and it's the first time I've flown since September when I came back from North Carolina. Oh yeah, yeah. It was surreal. Yeah. How was it? I know because I went home for Christmas for a second, and then yeah. How? So yeah. How you've was been it? on plane. I haven't yeah. done it since well I felt okay because I was vaxxed and masked right. and everything and I flew out of Burbank which already puts me at ease because there's three Guy Fieri restaurants three now I thought there's only one there's Guy Sandwiches <laughs> <laughs> 
there's Guy's Burger Bar. Wow. And there's something else. Okay, so he's literally made a flavored town in, in the Burbank. Burbank Airport. Burbank is officially flavor town. He's turning it like he's make he's you like I, my brain just broke for a second. Yeah. Uh, well, sandwiches like, is a kiosk. Right. But it's as if he's doing <laughs> Sims and he's just slowly uh, turning everything. Yeah. He it, turned the sunglass hut yes. into his sandwiches. I mean, it is technically called the Bob Hope Airport, but I don't think for long. <laughs> no. Uh, there's no hope uh, for Bob Hope it's there. The, it's guy in the sky, if you ask me. <laughs> um, which I'm laughing thinking about because I think when his first restaurant we'll use in quotation marks uh-huh. opened at that airport i think nicole buyer just bought the cheapest ticket yeah. she could buy just to uh, go to the restaurant i think so i think she wanted to get through security just so she could take <laughs> photos which is she's uh, so wonderful killed so me oh well i i don't think i told you huh. that um shoot i did a couple weeks ago the producer of it yeah um does guys grocery game she gave me a guy's grocery <gasps> game hat very fun. And I was going to wear it to the guy restaurant and take mm. a pic, but I forgot. I had limited space. Um, so anyway, so I was already at ease because I was at the Guy Fieri airport. Right. Are there other small airports that are sponsored solely by Guy Fieri? Is it Fieri or Fieri? We're going to be corrected either uh, for, way. Uh, for, 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 uh, F- I always think it's Fieri and then everyone, I mean, who cares? Thank if you. If he's not correcting me, we could say it however we want. Love it. Love that um, attitude. You're asking, are there other airports sponsored by Guy Fieri? I'm just saying he has like a monopoly. He has like a monopoly on that small airport. Okay. Right. Oh, on that one on Bob Hope Airport. Yeah. Yeah. Of course he does. He's not from Burbank. He's from Northern California. Right. Oh, I forget that he's from California. I know. It's weird, right? Not that weird when I think about it now. Okay. Yeah. That guy looks like, yeah, a California raisin. (laughs) What? (laughs) A golden raisin, <laughs> uh, a pickled raisin. So anyway, so I am flying to Las Vegas from Burbank. Uh huh. It's great. It's easy breezy. It takes 10 minutes to get there from my house. Yeah. I'm doing Southwest where you have to like. Oh, they assign or you guys decide amongst yourselves the seating arrangement. Yeah. It's a very much a democracy. It's a social experiment. It yeah. really is. And you know what? It was fast. It was easy. Mm. I was like probably the last person to be wow. able to board i think one guy was behind me i was like the last group at number 47 okay, you know okay. and i was like there's gonna be no room for my bag right there was room for my bag wow however i think it's also going to vegas so some people are just going for a day they're not bringing shit oh you know what i mean not, yeah they're traveling real they're life. swingers they're swingers wow no 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 i meant like <laughs> i meant like i meant like the movie swingers not like actual yeah, yeah, yeah. sexual switchers <laughs> So, um, so anyway, I'm there and there's this guy who is catty cornered from me and mm-hmm. he's, and he's talking to the guy beside him and he just looks like really upset. Okay. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to spy on this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so he's saying that his girlfriend is on vacation, like in another country with a bunch of girlfriends. Right. Okay. And he's saying like, she, they went out last night and like, she didn't send me like a good night text. Oh. And in my head, I'm going like it's vacation you know like yeah. people get drunk people get tired but unless they have that agreement in their relationship Thank expectations you. are going to be ruined yeah. do you and elliot have that um, i think we've talked about this before we've talked about it before that like it i mean we've been together literally for the entire year that's what i'm year, saying but you don't say it from the next room i'm like i think we've been out of town away from each other once really? this last year isn't that insane Wowzers. i know so no doy we got engaged no doy <laughs> uh but we would have that, like, we would express to each other, like, mm-hmm. hey, uh, this is what I expect. But, like, yeah. let me know because I can manage my expectations if it's totally. otherwise. Totally. Yeah, yeah. We're, like, half and half because yeah. Chip works so late. Right. And, right, you know. Right. So, anyway. So, he's, like, she didn't say goodnight. And then he's rationalizing it to the guy who's, uh, you know, very in- involved in this conversation. Yeah. And he's, like. Well, you know, maybe she like, you know, you get drunk. He goes, yeah, but like that was last night. And now it's like today at 1 p.m. And I still haven't heard from her. She hung over. She's hung over. But then he goes. So then I texted her sister who's on vacation. And she was like, yeah, she's fine. So she's just not texting him. Whoa. Like she didn't lose her phone or anything. And now he just put the sister in the middle. Right. The sister's on the vacation with the girlfriend. (gasps) Yeah. So he just stirred a pot down there. Stirred a pot. But he knows Mm. that she's not texting him and she didn't lose her phone and they're totally fine. Mm. So anyway, so I'm here. I'm feeling bad for this guy. And I'm like, oh, 
homie's about to get dumped maybe right maybe like she's this pulling is her away girl's trip to get you know some clarity from to her get, girlfriend yeah to get everything. confirmation that she should dump yeah, him yeah 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 so anyway i feel really bad for the guy and then the second we take off he starts watching beetlejuice at full volume with no headphones <laughs> <laughs> and i said dump his ass lady <laughs> You just leaned over and you said she didn't text you on purpose. I mean, Turn it down. I'm like sitting there and it's a very distinct score. And it's like, <laughs> do, 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 do. I mean, it's Danny Elfman, wow. iconic. And I look over and sure enough, I see the Alec Baldwin title card. And I'm like, this motherfucker is really going to watch Beetlejuice at full blast. While he's on his way to Vegas. Like this man. With no luggage because I saw them in security. This and he's not like going to surprise his girlfriend on her trip, right? Nope. This isn't like okay, nope. because if you she he maybe fancies himself Beetlejuice and she just hasn't said his name three times, he's gonna show Ooh, up right there. I love it. It's I, I was mean, like of all things to choose, I couldn't get it in this guy's head. It's I like know. have you never seen it or is this how you like calm yourself on a flight? <laughs> is this how he stress manages? Is that he Flying. quickly turns on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And has to watch it? Truly, he thinks he's getting broken up with, so he's got to watch one of the ro most romantic movies of all time. Absolutely. I mean, I wanted to yell at him, and you know, I love to. Yeah, you love to talk not to the yell. manager now. Well, no, it's not even a yell. It's simply like a, "Hey, bud, do, do you're you not have the only headphones? person." Yeah, like, "Hello, hello." I'm trying to read three pages of my book club book that <laughs> I've been putting off for a month. I've been trying to listen to you talk, and if you're not going to talk anymore, I need you to shut up. Yeah, <laughs> there's no hot gossip. Turn it down. So, but it was only a 30 minute flight. So then mm, I was like, "Is it worth right. it? Tensions are high." Right. Also, he started Beetlejuice, knowing it's only from a the 30 start. 30 minute flight <laughs> there's Can so many this that. might be an actual psychopath that was on this flight with you i confirmed uh, the uh who I, starts a movie on a 30 minute flight you watch a tv show without headphones i just truly truly maybe it's because we lived in new york and like everyone you mm -hmm. know minds their own business or whatever and you get like told to mind your own business if you're not yes mind your business lady it's just embedded in me that i can't imagine I watching something imagine. without headphones i can't i can't imagine I get annoyed that, when like, like a friend is doing that at yeah. home exactly <laughs> you know someone yeah. i'd be when chip is watching something and i'm just like i know uh, uh, if elliot turns doing? something on, on his phone when uh something is on tv or i do that to him we're both so sensitive to being like hey hey what what's going on over there what are you doing yeah it's the worst line. it's one of my biggest pet peeves so wow. anyway that was my flight there but once there Great time. Loved it. Never saw the guy again? No, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> that's I hope he's dumped. That, uh, yeah, that's what she said down on vacation with their sister and her girlfriend. Truly, never again. Y'all, we've all been there. You're standing in the wine aisle, staring at the shelves. People are going past you, you're in the way, but you're just looking. There's too many options. Do you want a California red? Or is it better if you get one from Oregon? Or do you need something organic? Or maybe just one with a really nice label because you know you're going to your friend's house who like really gives a crap about what things look like. <sighs> Well, thankfully for you, there's a little thing called First Leaf, which can take all this hassle out of it. It's the better way to discover wine at a fraction of the price you're ever gonna find in a store. First Leaf is a fully customizable wine club that sends curated boxes of wine that are perfect for you. And they have more award-winning wine than anyone else. With First Leaf, there's no guesswork, no misguided recommendations from an employee who doesn't know what you like, okay? They're just trying to push the stuff that they, they accidentally order too much of. And there's no frustration on your part. Each wine shipment is entirely customized to your unique palate and preferences. And unlike big box wine memberships, First Leaf uses a one-of-a-kind algorithm and your feedback to curate future wine recommendations, okay? It's not just a computer figuring out what you like. I mean, we do have that. But if you don't like something, you you can tell them everyone's palate is very very nuanced and specific and they are ready to listen for example i'm kind of getting back into white wine again it's been a few years and sometimes i really want a chardonnay but you know what i don't want an oaky buttery i want a crisp iron cast chardonnay and i told first leaf that and they uh corrected accordingly so First Leaf works directly with the world's best winemakers, not only to find the best wines available, but to pass the savings on to you, saving you up to 60% off retail. Guys, 
do you know how nice it is to have wine just show up at your door? Wine is friggin' heavy, okay? Uh, when I go to the grocery store, I'm not trying to leave there with an extra 40 pounds of wine. Uh-uh, I want that shipped directly and exactly how I want it. So save time, money, and stress with First Leaf, the wine club designed with you in mind. Join today and you're gonna get six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping. That's nuts. So just go to tryfirstleaf.com slash TMGW. That's six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping at tryfirstleaf.com slash TMGW. Okay, how is your comforter looking these days? Is it looking a lot like maybe how you feel? Maybe it's a little lumpy. Maybe it's a little deflated. Doesn't have the same fluff as it used to. Well, if it's time for a refresh, Brooklinen is here to help you out. They create beautiful, high-quality bedding and home essentials, and they work directly with manufacturers to give you a fair price. There's no middlemen, no markups, and their comforters come in lightweight, all-season, and ultra-warm to suit every type of sleeper and lifestyle. There's even a weighted comforter option for stress relief. There's something literally for everyone. There's also uh, a variety of materials that they use including an eco-friendly recycled down alternative and Brooklinen's comforters pair perfectly with their sheets their pillows and their duvets and I know this because I have recently received my Lux core set of Brooklinen sheets duvet um, um what else oh pillow cases right I'm sorry I'm just you know I, my brain forgets how to function because I love them so, so much and it's the most adult thing that's ever happened in my life and it's been so lovely. They are truly uh, what they say they are. They are luxe. They are comfortable. It's incredible that I'm actually in my office recording this ad right now and not doing it from my bed. Uh, there's a reason that Brooklinen has over 75,000 five-star reviews and counting. I am one of those. And so if you are interested, treat yourself to ultimate comfort with Brooklinen's comfort Comforter collection. Go to brooklinen.com and use the promo code TMGW to get $25 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen, B R O O K L I N E N.com and enter promo code TMGW for $25 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen.com, promo code TMGW. So anyway, I uh, I had a great weekend. Oh, I good. went to I went to a surprisingly yeah a wedding. I know that's where I got I got a little sucker punched because oh, I was like I did fool everyone. I thought uh, yeah. you know I was like they would do this. Yeah, they would be like, and she would like make it this casual and make it so easy for you to not have to do anything. <laughs> In, in the wedding process. No, so uh, there's a guy on his crew who I've known since like we first started dating who's yeah. lovely, who's been married like eight years, little girl. Sweet. They both are working on Bar Rescue this run. So yeah. like the whole fam was there. Aww. And he was like, it's our seventh anniversary tomorrow. I'm going to surprise her with a vow renewal at the Little White Chapel. Oh, that's so cute. It was so cute. And like all of them get tested like yeah, a bunch yeah. a week and they're all vaccinated everything. So we did. So I was the only girl allowed to like at the... Not not that they specifically said it, but I was the only girl at the bachelor party. Oh, cute. Which was just drinks. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. nothing crazy, but two phones were lost. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. You know, like Chip and I were like, we're going to have two drinks and then go to bed. And then we were like, we drank 40 gin and tonics. Uh -huh. um, but so we did that. And so we went to the little chapel and it's both the one that Tyler and I went to on Hey USA. Oh, cute. And the one my brothers got married at his first marriage. Really? Yes. And the amount of people that messaged me and were like, I got married at that same place. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's, yeah, it's just an iconic place. Yeah, but it's just crazy to me how many people actually do get married in Vegas. It's very true. I think there was a wedding from 90 Day Fiance at that actual mm -hmm. wedding chapel now. It's all ringing bells to me. Uh, how sweet, though. It was really cute. We all show up and it's outside yeah. and it's in the Cadillac. And Aww. like and it's probably like 20 people are from the crew are there. And she had no idea. And she was like, we're driving there. And I'm like, tattoo parlor, strip club, tattoo parlor. Where are you taking me and our child? <laughs> <laughs> and they get there and it was really sweet. And Chip had a bunch of <laughs> Chip had a bunch of edibles. So he was handing them out. And I was like, you brought the cake. Oh, God. You brought the cake. That's so great. And just having a good time. And then they got in there. And of course, they entrusted me with the, the camera because I yeah. was like, I'm the most 
vain person here. <laughs> I know how to take how to work some angles. Yeah. And I took the photos and they like both cry everyone was oh, crying. That's she so was like sweet. she was like, I wasn't expecting this. And like we oh. all like went and did beers after and she was just like, This is the best thing ever. And how I was like, This sweet. is sweet. Fantastic. Man, yeah. I mean, who would have known that we'd be here now? Where, yeah. from where we've been that's so sweet it was yeah no because this is what she did this is how yeah. she got him to cry is out of the gate she just goes like i want you both to think back about this day seven years ago oh and i was like before they had the kid and everything oh. and it was like really sweet but then she wrapped it up and she was everyone's like woo and cheering and it's like congratulations you two like thanks for choosing little white wedding chapel the um officiants tip is not included <laughs> like i'm not she didn't skip a fucking it wasn't tw- two seconds it is autopilot yeah. it was fantastic it was really sweet good for them mm-hmm. that's so so cute and did uh, not expect that to yeah happen this weekend i didn't expect vegas to be such a sweet uh endeavor for you however what you're referencing is i put on my instagram story to oh, make yeah. it look like chip and i surprise got married yeah. and so many people were in my dms pissed that i fucked with them. i was like i looked at and you know <laughs> When you skip ahead on an Instagram story, yeah. it's it takes one second to do that. But within that one second mm-hmm. between the photo and the JK, I had I was flooded with thoughts. <laughs> I was just like, huh? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. See, but like, I thought about how girl. long do I leave it out there? Oh. I didn't dangle it at all. Mm-mm. I immediately was like, just kidding. We're at someone else's Val Renewal. Yeah, but no. I could have been Can a you real imagine bastard. if you had bad Wi-Fi and it wouldn't let you That's up? That's what I got <laughs> No, Grace, I had already done the, like, upload, oh, put the next frame, download that, so I'd have them back okay. to back. Locked and loaded. I got so nervous. Oh. Wait, uh, you want to hear something wild? I always want to hear something wild. So this is, we have on our hands. Oh, no. A bit of an unsolved mystery. Because I get a DM a is couple it? days ago. Okay. From Megan Ranks. Uh, oh, yeah. She... Uh, host don't blame me the podcast yeah wonderful uh youtuber ish i think now but anyway actress actress all these great things so sassy so fun love her she sends me this dm goes hey i heard you got sent a dick pic um yes the other day i got sent one too do you still have it and okay because i saw in my twitter mentions someone be like you know, when you see just the response yes. and it was like, ask Grace and Mamrie about that. They have ideas. Right. Megan had tweeted like, I just got sent a random, a wrong number dick pic. How do I respond? Right. And so she messaged me. Oh, my God. Just met. Uh, <gasps> someone just messaged me and told me you got a random dick pic from an unknown number two. Do you still have it? I wonder if it's the same. <gasps> oh, dude. my God. And oh, I my God. Like, a dick lineup. I was like, there's no way it's the same dude. <gasps> but oh, OK, here. And then I screenshot it and sent it to her oh my and God. then she goes shut the fuck up it's the same penis it's the same oh penis. my god <laughs> oh my god goes, it's the same penis <gasps> and uh i am shook i know this was on saturday i have to follow up with her because she said she's like i'm gonna reverse image search when i get home because she is a little sleuth and wait what i'm so confused because she then she posted on her story first that, of all this is a crime in texas is yeah to send an, a, a dick pic without consent it's insane she said on her story someone on twitter said that quote digital flashers get off on exposing themselves mm-hmm. to people via text uh but and she was saying it doesn't feel random now and no, so it I'm doesn't like, it feels like they're targeting hot blondes <laughs> who are on the internet <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's also, i ain't getting that shit <laughs> well it's also like is it someone we know and oh. i saw someone tweet is this going to be some awful youtube video that's like uh Oh, warning. how, oh, Expo- how yeah, explicit. YouTubers I sent, react. Uh, my YouTube friends an unsolicited dick pic. And I'm like, that. I sincerely hope it's not that because that would be just a bad idea all I the think, way around. Yeah, if someone did that and put you in that position, I would be mad at them. Well, just like we have a sense of humor about it. Right. But this is triggering for people. And, and whose also- penis is that? I don't know. Right. That it's like, is this a sexual person? And they just have a bunch of phone numbers randomly in their phone and they're just going through. Is someone getting revenge on someone and sending out dick pics uh, randomly to phone numbers that they have? There are so many questions here. And I thought this dick was put to bed and now it's not. (laughs) (laughs) And it's like, that is crazy. I had no idea that that was even a possibility. But when that dick pic happened to you 
And weren't they like had fun last night or something? Like, yeah. did they say names? They said, and are they pulling that same shit on Megan? They said to me, "This is like, I'm truly. I know this is one for Nancy Drew, I the know. boxcar kids. This is uh, the FBI and Judge me. Judy. All you of bro- them. You are you really trying to get Judge Judy some work? I, th- I think she's pretty cool. <laughs> she works like what? Twice in 10 minutes. You suggest a Judge Judy She works four days a year. She makes, what, millions of dollars? Oh, she's the highest paid woman on television. Right. She's incredible. It's insane. Uh, And now she's doing it over Zoom. It's great. Oh, my Uh, God. No, this this was the text to her was, uh, so excited that we're finally going to meet in person tomorrow. Whereas mine was like, had a great time. Yeah. I hope you had a great day. Here's something I hope will make it even better. And she sent a Jack Nicholson gif that said, wrong person. (laughs) Back to Got it. (laughs) And then they said, isn't, this isn't Sarah, which I have to check to see if they said Sarah. I think they said Sarah to you. And she said, nope, 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 nope. With another gif of a real housewife. Great use of gifs, Megan. Yeah, truly. And they said, fuck, I'm so sorry. And no, this is a digital flasher. Yeah, this is a digital flasher. This is the modern equivalent of a guy in a trench coat. Yep. Sh- pulling out his ween. But it's from a different number. But it's the same exact penis. Right. So is it so it's different people just sending around a random penis photo that they have? Is there like a number scrambler? It might be. I don't know how that like, I can barely like, sign into Zoom. <laughs> I don't know how any of this works. I stopped learning how to pull phone tricks after Star 69. <laughs> Remember Star 69? You could tell How who could called you. you? Forget? Wow, that is crazy. I mean, I yeah. was not expecting that twist. Me and also, either. unlike that vow renewal, the tip was included. The tip has been included. The tip was included. No, wow. Thank you. Um, do you want to hear some mystery and intrigue? Uh, yeah. I mean, that seems <laughs> to be a theme currently. It's Go re- for it. It's really not. I came in here the other day. Uh-huh. And I was folding towels. Yeah. Um, by the washer. I was at least. I think I was thinking about folding them. They're still in the dryer. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you were really looking over my head at this washer like, and dryer. Those have been in there for I a week. I was like, did you find something in there? That's- no, but look, this door yeah. to our little podcast slash storage unit yes. <laughs> slash whatever the fuck is in here. Like it gets caught. It's like one of those doors that I feel like. You know when wood expands yes, when it gets we, wet? Yes, my back door is doing that currently and is the hardest thing to close. It's the worst. Well, yeah. that's how my front door is and mm-hmm. that like I, you have to throw the lock or it pops open. Yeah, same. Like it's like LA is so u- not used to rain that the doors just rebel. Right, and we just had another earthquake. So I always wonder if like foundations settled differently. Which I slept right through. Oh, I woke Both up. Both of them. I woke up and then I woke up Elliot up because I just was like, I'm not going to do this one alone. Was it a long one? Yeah, it was an- one enough that I was almost asleep, mm. which is so difficult for me to fall asleep these days. Oh, you mean you hadn't fallen asleep yet and it I kicked was in. like still Wasn't tossing it like four in the morning. I was like tossing and turning like oh, awake asleep. Thing. I know. So it was extra frustrating. And then like we have this four poster bed and so you could from looking I, up, well, see I would the... love to, to to then go to your house and you just have four posters up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Spice Girls, it's JTT, Oasis, it's and Oasis. A Knight's Tale, like and, I had in college. Oh God, yeah, and Foo Fighters. <laughs> we just watched a Foo Fighters documentary. Oh wow, put a pin in it. I want to come back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it kept so you up. It literally was swaying the bed frame back and forth, and you get this sensation that like. Um, Obviously, there's danger, and Mm -hmm. they're like, "Am I in the Matrix right now? What's going on?" And it's also just like a bit of a thrill ride too. Once you realize that it's like, uh, once you realize it's not your own brain, right? Once you realize that like you didn't accidentally take mushrooms or something, yeah, and that you are now you know entering into a really dark place. Totally. uh, It's just like, oh, okay. And because our place is like a little bit on a hill, I'm just constantly worried that the whole house is just going to slide. Yeah. A hundred percent. And that all the door frames are fucked now and that everything is uh, a bit screwy. But it was, yeah, it was a little bit like I've only woken up to two or three of them now. And mm. they're always just like, <sighs> like you have to send it. Well, yourself. you know what happened to me? I experienced a freaking earthquake in North Carolina last summer. Right. Like earthquakes were following me. And neither we myself. We experienced that one in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn together. Like oh. I experience earthquakes in places that don't normally have earthquakes. Yeah. But this one slept right through it. Hmm. I had dr- I had drank an entire bottle of Cabernet by myself. See, that's maybe I'm missing that. That's key to falling asleep. That at was night. your problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's my that's fault. <laughs> that's my fault. <laughs> that's on you. Yeah, I have a problem. And that's on I'm you. Not drinking enough wine. You really wine. need to step it up. I drank a whole bottle of red wine. It friggin' happens, and often. Mm-hmm. And we s- 
Uh, we, me and Beans. <laughs> I was like, what's Chip? <laughs> Chip was in Vegas. <laughs> I mean, maybe Beans felt it. I don't know. She's always getting up, scrambling around anyway. Yeah. Um, but stuff I threw it. And then I got up, went on Twitter and felt really left out. Because mm, well, everyone see, was telling their stories. And I was I like, I, I know. slept like a fucking a peaceful angel. I don't really look at the Twitter after it because it's mm. just everyone being like this thing happened <laughs> you're like all you're right like, yeah we all experienced that that together <laughs> right. oh so anyway i'm back here folding towels yes yes towels towels well, towels thinking about it and so this door it pops open or like takes them like a minute to like close it right yeah so like sometimes it doesn't close all the way i'll be honest okay. and like i'll come out in the morning or something and be like oh shit there's a crack in the door yeah. whatever which to me don't worry nothing scary but i have always been like oh that would fucking suck if like a Something skunk or yeah. a possum got in and everything. Is, and I mean, you're talking about the girl whose house is a revolving door for all the creatures. And this, it's like I took the revolving door off the hinges and was like, welcome. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. So I'm folding <laughs> towels and I look over and in this very seat I'm sitting is a fucking 30 pound cat. <laughs> <laughs> in the seat. Just watching me. <laughs> it's this fucking huge long-haired black and white cat that taunts beans yeah 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 but also like beans huh. will go, it'll, like it'll be on my roof it'll be on my thing i'll be yeah. like get away from it you know like beans is ready to attack even though beans is a quarter of its size <laughs> and it just is watching me and i uh. and i just my natural instinct is i said bitch get out of here <laughs> and, and did not move did not move fully had to get a broom oh, like i was yeah. like go go like <laughs> trying to scare it i was like the least scary and finally had to get a broom to get it to leave wow. and in my head i'm like how often do you hang out in here right yeah now you gotta look around and see i mean it's just in here playing dream phone <laughs> i had to dust bust the i had to dust bust this chair i mean look there's an alf sitting behind the chair there is a possibility that, that they have a relationship no <laughs> alf eats cats this oh. should be a security system that i have an alf overlooking my domain wow yeah 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 you're right not scared of alf none of it so mm. anyway i was just flabbergasted it was just meeting <laughs> eyes with this huge ass cat who thought like, yeah, of course I'm hanging out in here. Yeah, of course. This is my, you know, man cave. This is, yeah, where I hang out. You're never in here. You come in here once a week. So now I really have to, when I see that cat, I really like, I puff up gotta... the chest and I'm like, never again, bitch. <laughs> and then when I, I was out that's... of town this weekend, Mary sent me a picture of the cat hanging out in the front yard and being uh, chasing I thought it. the cat was still going to be back in here. Just no, I told cows. Mary, I said, if you see that cat, she goes, that that cat tried to come inside once. I said, Mary, well, how, Mary. Did, how did you uh, <laughs> withhold this information? This cat has been casing your entire house. Yes. It's just establishing its dominance, being like, I can get in here, and I can get in here, and, and I can a get a literal here. cat burglar. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what you do about that. I, and I don't know what it would steal, because I wouldn't notice, because I have so much shit back here. <laughs> I know. But, or what it's, where it's making or having its babies right? anywhere. Right? That's the thing. I know. That's like, um. I also had to shoo something out of my house with a broom the other day. We have... um. Oh, no. Yeah. That was vague. Yep. Uh, we have now oh, discovered no. alligator lizards. <laughs> this is a real thing. <laughs> this is insane, and I'm so upset <laughs> by it. There's also wait, wait. wow. Why is why and I went is my next Elliot's door Florida app, coming to roost in I your home? I literally. We, he was like, he came lizards. in one day and he was like, up. "Look at this crazy uh, lizard that was in our yard. It's so long. I've never seen one with a tail this long." And I was like, "Oh, that was in our yard." And he was like, "Yeah," but I it ran away. And he googled it and he's like, "It's an alli a sou Southern California alligator lizard." What? And people in our neighborhood <gasps> on the next door app. It looks like app, a snake. It looks like a snake. And he showed me this. Holy shit. And then like two days later, I took Goose on a walk and came back and was like doing something, taking her leash off and happened to turn around. And we have like a coat rack by our sliding door that was like open. And I just saw this tail that looked like a tiny alligator. And I was like, oh, my God. And I just like got a broom and had to shoo it out of there. But same thing. I was like. Do you guys just get in here? Now sometimes? lizards are just coming in, right? And the door was open for like a second, and I was like, "This is not okay." And no! also, they looked. It looked like it was way bigger than the one that Elliot had showed me. And apparently, they're harmless. I guess I just don't want them to like make a nest anywhere near us because you they do also not want a bunch of lizards in your house. Absolutely no. That's an uh, actual nightmare. But they wow, more so than mice. 
more so, well i mean honestly yeah lizards would be worse than mice but lizards wow. keep the mice and the insects under control is what i read on next door today from see a lizards are great okay think about everything you've ever learned about getting healthy there is a lot of contradictory information out there and things like you know the food pyramid aren't much help these days however enter noom noom is not about what you just ate but about how you eat in general it teaches you about eating your cravings and how to build new habits so you can ditch your misconceptions and get smart about food and the choices you make it is based in psychology so noom teaches you how to eat so you can accomplish your personal health goals and stick with them long term because you don't need rules to lose weight you just need knowledge and with noom you pick health the health goals that are right for you and Noom personalizes a weight loss program to help your aspirations become reality and on top of it being like this fully immersive wonderful system for you to reach your health goals and learn how to eat they also have incredible uh, recipe libraries and you can search for things that have a certain amount of green elements in them something I should be doing more often you can search within a certain budget restriction and there's all kinds of uh, interactivity between everyone that also also uses Noom. And like we said, there it's based in psychology. The cognitive behavioral approach means that you're not just losing weight, you're building the habits to keep it off. And it's forgiving. You're human. If you go off track today, you get back on track tomorrow. They only ask for 10 minutes a day and over 80% of Noomers finish the program and over 60% have stuck with their goals for at least one year. There is a science to getting healthier. It's called Noom. So start your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. If you're ready to learn how to live healthier, sign up for Noom today at N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. Again, Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. Y'all, I can say right now with zero exaggeration that Bombas makes the most comfortable friggin' socks in the history of feet. I'm wearing them right now and it feels like the arches of my stinkers are getting a nice little hug. They've literally rethought every detail of the socks we wear to make them more comfortable. And these socks do more than just keep your feet cozy. They help give back to the most vulnerable members of our community. So because of every pair you purchase, Bombas donates a pair to someone in need. The generosity of Bombas customers has allowed them to donate over 40 million pairs of socks and counting through their nationwide network of 3,000 plus giving partners. And the impact is more powerful than ever because those experiencing homelessness know that socks represent the dignity of putting on clean clothes, a small comfort that's especially important right now. And when you purchase Bombas, you yourself are getting a nice comfort. Seriously, I love them so much. I want to refill my entire sock drawer with them slowly but surely so give a pair when you buy a pair and get 20% off your first purchase at bombas.com slash tmgw that's b-o-m-b-a-s.com slash tmgw for 20% off your first order bombas.com slash tmgw trust me they are the bomb but also in my neighborhood okay someone posted you know how on your ring app it'll people will post videos if they're within a few mile radius you get it sent to you of like oh it's same with like next door app that like if you have the ring device you can like post a video just being like hey th this person stole I've our packages i've never accessed that but then again like my ring like my nest thing it's like always all on the fritz yeah 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 well this uh i saw the other day someone in our neighbor well like a few miles away yeah you know there's been a bear nearby they have ring footage of a bear and a coyote screaming at each other what in like what looks like are we an sure apartment? it wasn't a real housewife right <laughs> <laughs> no someone said that it looked like a uh, viral video campaign for kong versus godzilla i was like all right but it's uh you guys don't try your stand up <laughs> open mics i know it's been a long Bits. pandemic but don't do it on the nest app Bits. but it's uh yeah it's literally a driveway that looks like it's either an apartment building or mm -hmm. like apartment building next to a house or something and it's just a bear and this coyote and the coyote starts barking at it and the bear runs away and yeah because the coyote's like look motherfucker i've already been a nuisance up in here yeah. you can't higher up on the food chain come uh, in here and steal my glory no there's a yeah so that's <sighs> been my neighborhood which is just insane i don't oh, know what's next i do have another mary story i love mary stories um so, well, first of all, Mary watched Beans while I was in uh, Vegas, oh, and good. I came home, and Mary made a prayer candle. Like, <gasps> one of those, like, 
Oh, of beans? Of beans, oh, like wrapped the picture around. But I think so she sweet. made it herself because she just left me a card that says, <laughs> the card just says, the middle of this candle won't solidify. I think it's possessed. <laughs> that's all it said. But so anyway, Mary uh-huh. got her first tattoo. Her first tattoo. Okay. I would think she'd already have tattoos. Terrified of pain. Oh, wow. She okay. got a very simple, you know where it's going, Amy Winehouse. Okay. I thought it was going to be either Amy or Beans. <laughs> well, that's shoulder. the thing. I'm like, do Mary and I get matching Beans tattoos? Because now she's hooked. There. Oh, she got the tattoo and so now she loves she it. She was terrified. She was like, wanted to ask questions about Chip's tattoos because right, right. he has so many. And she was like, and how, and how you know. Uh, how much does it hurt and this and that yeah so she found another dog she sits uh, okay. his name is eddie money perfect her yep. mom is eddie money's mother is covered in tattoos and she was like i use medical grade like numbing so mary oh. was like oh if i'm gonna get some numbing cream from her Big and go time. do it right yeah. so i asked mary i'm like well you're getting it done in my neighborhood mm -hmm. if i'm home come show me after and whatnot yeah but then i knew i had plans mm -hmm. so she was like actually will you pick me up and bring me because she doesn't have a car right. and she was like i'm nervous i'm gonna be late okay and miss it and i was like you got it yeah so like a week ago uh -huh. last friday i i literally i bring beans as like a, an emotional support animal. Yeah, yeah. I go pick up Mary. I'm playing Amy Winehouse. <gasps> oh! And she gets in the car and I like bring Mary to the tattoo studio. <laughs> and I walk and I walk in with her and I was like, this is my, just to establish like, you know, she's an older lady going by herself to get yeah. her first tattoo who's really nervous. I was like, this is my friend Mary. She was like, yeah, we, we were emailing and this and that. And I go, she's really nervous. So please take care of her. And like, <laughs> you I, dropped your daughter off. I to dropped get a her tattoo. off at the tattoo parlor and she loves it. And it looks so great. It's like so nice and simple. She said it took like 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah. How did she get home? She then, I think, called an Uber or okay, something, okay. but she was, uh, <laughs> like, she's, who knows no, but I wasn't at home. She was like, I stopped by and peed and said hi to beans. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like walking on air when you like do something yeah, adrenaline. Yeah, and now she's her. like, this is the other one I want. So now I'm like, uh -oh. oh my God, do you guys get matching tattoos? Of beans. Of beans, obviously. But like a Basquiat, like, like real, like rudimentary. I don't yeah. want like a realistic dog. No, no, no. no. That, those things always make me feel very weird a certain way. Yeah. Very strange. Like, very, like it's too, this is clearly a hard thing for you. If you got a tattoo that realistic. Of your but I do have friends who have like really cute ones, but yeah. it's still like the dog's alive. Oh. If I saw <laughs> yeah, if I saw a dog so like a hyper realistic portrait, I'd be like, oh, rest in rest in peace. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Rest then I'd balls. be like, this is a sentimental thing. Mm. I'll ask about this when we're already pretty drunk into the night. Right, totally. Who's that thing? little guy? <laughs> Who's that little guy? Um, have you seen that White Claw's got a new what? Yeah, that's all I need to say. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> White Claw. I saw today it's on Twitter trending as a new line called Surge. Oh, no. And is it caffeine? No, I thought it was. Okay. I don't think it's caffeine. It's got 8% alcohol in it versus 5 Oh, I'm about about it. But people are comparing it to Four Loco um, because mm. Four Loco came out with that like crazy ass thing that was. Yeah, but Four Loco was energy. That's why it was I so know. insane. That's why is I was, it was when like. When I was looking at what it was, I think just the name Surge makes people think that it's caffeinated, but I think it's Surge, meaning it has more alcohol content than the normal cans. Yeah, do. Surge makes it sound like you're going to stay up all night. It sounds very like an 80s soda. Yes, like a. Jolt. Like, Jolt, or isn't there one called like Splurge or something? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Splooge. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm all about the more alcohol. Yeah. I mean, I've used White Claw as the soda in a vodka soda. Wow. I Accidentally. And then I said, this did me right. Up. This this break. Break. You know what? What a happy accident. <laughs> yeah. It's like if you uh, make ice cubes with liquor in them. Oh, well, can I mean. Can you do that? I just assume. No, you can only put a certain amount of liquor. It won't freeze. Uh, it has to be very low. A small amount. Well, these... Their blood orange is the flavor that's coming <gasps> I out. I love so a blood orange. This might be your summer beverage, Mamrie. Wow. Yeah. What are the flaves? Uh, are they all the traditional flavors? I think it's just blood orange. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you just said that. Uh, yeah. What are the flavors? I was like, am I not saying this correctly? Yeah. <laughs> blood orange, 8% alcohol. Uh, blood hint, surge. Yeah. Taste of blood orange. This mouth-watering okay. take on your favorite hard seltzer provides a bold surge of refreshment. Wow. Well, we're not sponsored by any hard seltzer, so I will say right now, mm -hmm. I've tried a new one called High Noon. 
High noon. Okay. Black cherry. It's kind of like how the LaCroix would be White Claw. Mm. High noon is the spindrift. Like it has a little bit of actual fresh juice in it. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's fucking tasty. Really? So good. Why is it called high noon? (laughs) I don't know. You feel high by noon? Oh, Um, I do have one more little grocery thing. I wanted your opinion on it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So I went to the grocery store as I do probably every day. Yeah. (laughs) Some people have like a porn addiction. Mamrie goes to the grocery store and just looks around. Here's the thing is that I like to... uh, Look, sometimes like, you know, when we were in the middle of the pandemic, as yeah. Naomi would say, uh, I would like go and get a bunch of meals worth. But now that like it's less scary, mm-hmm. I like just want to figure out what I want that day. Yeah. And chips out of town. So cooking for yourself. Dude, it sucks. Sucks. But also going to the grocery store is so much cheaper than just postmate and constantly. Exactly. And is, so that's yeah. what I've been doing the last couple of weeks is I've just been like, oh, fuck it. I'll just postmate something, but I'll get extra food. So then I have leftovers tomorrow. But I, yeah. you know what? You know what? I just need to admit Huh. I hate leftovers. I know you met, you kind of said this last week and it made me Sorry, really sad. I'm, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to like uh, redo them or something. I no, don't want to just Elliot's eat the same, the same thing. Way. He won't. I'm like, bored. I'll, I'll be like, do you want me to save this for you? He's like, yeah, sure. And then he will never eat it after. Same. Ever. Yeah. Chip will be like, well, let's save it just in case. And I go, you know what you're doing? You're giving me a task in five days to throw it away when it's <laughs> yeah, gross. Yeah. I'd rather throw it away now, which is yeah. terrible. But so anyway, I don't want to make big portions. So mm-hmm. I go to the grocery store and I get a little bit of what I need. But anyway, I'm there. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to make a delicious, like bitter grilled salad. Okay. Of like radicchio and endive. Love it. Love a, it. A tricolore, as they call it. Wow. This sounds like a really sophisticated uh, curtain call for like American gladiators. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just imagining in my mind if American Gladiators was like really sophisticated and they had names like Radicchio. Radicchio <laughs> and Dive, the French Gladiators. Yeah. Which, by the way, they're doing a 30 for 30 on, Amer- on American Gladiators. <gasps> Are they really? Yeah, it was announced well. a couple days ago. I'm so excited. Ooh, can't um, wait. But so anyway, I get my radicchio. And as we know, that is a bitter Italian lettuce. Obviously. Uh, or a chicory. Uh, pardon me. Um, What's a chicory? It's a it's a categorization of uh, lettuces. Lettuce. Okay. It's like frise and... Others. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm nerding. I'm so hard right now. I'm so hard right now talking about this. So anyway, here's my predicament. Okay. Is I like a weird produce. So sometimes when I go through uh, the checkout, they'll uh-huh. be like, is this a bot? You know, like. Right. Because they have to look it up. To, yeah. Like yeah. today she was like, is this a turnip? And I was like, no, it's it's a golden beet. Okay. You know. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'm sure I'm that so they old. love that. Okay, and ma'am. I also get a lot of questions that are like, are these good? Like, like when I was buying what endive the other day, someone was like, what do you do with this? Like, <laughs> I just become like an NPR station yeah. for the person working at the grocery store. So anyway, I'm looking up and I look up real quickly. And I never like I'm checking the, t- you know, I'm not being like, what did you charge me for? Right. But I see that this person rang up red cabbage or purple cabbage instead of radicchio, which mm. is incredibly cheaper. So my head of radicchio, oh. which should probably have been about, let's say five dollars, was yeah. actually was charged sixty cents. Wow! Now here's my question. This is my what would you do? Do oh. you say, oh, you rang that up as the wrong produce, mm. or do you let it slide because look. you don't want to look like you're checking their work too much? Exactly. And it's not like I stole anything. No, look, it's I, not coming I out didn't. Of that. I didn't correct her. Okay. I think we can just okay. I wouldn't do it either. I wouldn't correct her. I wouldn't do it. Uh, This person is not making, um, you know, a a percentage off of everything that they're ringing up on their cash register. Leslie Piggly Wiggly, right? And also pointing something out to someone that's doing a job Mm. that just kind of sucks, but they're, you know, God bless them for doing it. It just feels like a. uh, I'm bothering them now. I didn't want to sound. Do you know how? snobby you yeah. have to sound to go um actually it's radicchio it's not purple cabbage yeah. and i like played it in my head and i was and like the fact that you want it to be rung up higher i if i were that cash- right if i was that yeah a cashier i would walk out of there and be like what the hell yeah was i would that? be like call me out when i ring it up as radicchio right. instead of purple cabbage exactly but you want to be charged more and tell me about your fucking bougie ass bitter greens yeah 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 yeah. you did the right thing you think so i think you did i think it's you been did weighing right on me uh i know i got <laughs> all that radicchio for 61 cents and it was but delicious I think, I think you did the right thing okay I, um i'm trying to think of like how it could have gone okay the other way 
And um, I don't think it would have. I needed to. Yeah. Okay. I, no one needed that. Uh, I don't think they want to be. Especially I did donate to St. Jude's or whatever. There you go. A couple bucks. So there was the difference. They, on the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My conscience is clear. Yeah. The universe has been balanced out. And that person didn't have to know that they didn't know this. They didn't have to feel the insecurity of this woman coming no. in and pointing out that this was a different. No. However, if I thought. go back. And get radicchio, mm-hmm. and she rings it up as purple cabbage again. I might go. Oh, I think that's actually. I mean, I'm gonna have to correct her. Or, Will you? Uh, should I not? I mean, ignorance <laughs> is bliss sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, unless you, unless on a personal the manager, level, want this woman to go on with her life knowing the difference between no, cabbage and radicchio. No, it's more. I don't want the manager to be approaching the produce <laughs> guys, guys and system. go, "Hey, you guys." Who's been who's been sneaking out radicchio? Because we've been restocking it, but we haven't been ringing it up. Yeah. Who of you guys is sneaking radicchio at the back door? That is usually Avon's <laughs> greatest issue is the amount of radicchio that goes unchecked. <laughs> I, I worked at a grocery store for like six months. You did in, in high school, yeah. or maybe even less. I was so bad at it, but it was like the tiny independent grocery store uh, in yeah, my yeah. town where they didn't have scanners. You had to literally ring every Oof. single thing up, which I got good at. Like you could be, the car could be coming towards me. I'd be like 269. She's got milk. Blah, go. blah, blah, and I'd get a head start. But what's so funny is I saw a friend of mine who also worked there. She had like a thing of snacks, like uh-huh. in like cookies or something in her little drawer. She was eating them. And I was like, Oh, snacks. She goes, yeah, you just eat whatever you want. And I was like, Oh, so I was eating whatever I wanted, like See? just getting it off the shelf. And then my friend goes, and and then the manager was like, are you eating? I was like, you know, get a snack. And my friend was like, I was kidding. I pay for them. <laughs> and I was like, I've been full on shoplifting <laughs> and just eating, like <sighs> truly being like, Oh, I haven't had one of those iced wedding cookies in a while. <laughs> Oh, Funyuns, and just eating all day. There you go. See, so that's my karma. I'm just trying to pay it back. They, yeah, it'll it'll all balance itself out. I think that girl's probably fine living her life not knowing the what difference radicchio between is. cabbage and radicchio. All right, at the right time she'll learn. Thank you for this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I got that off my chest. There you go. Oh, I'm. I think it got weird at the end there. I'm sorry about that. Yep, that got weird. This might get weird.